and I wrote a poem called Innocent Black Men because I haven't performed it anywhere yet. I'm, I'm probably going to perform it at one of the uh, poetry slams here in Toronto. <laughs> now, you know, there would be a good thing for you to do now that the, the, the black man issue in Cardi in Toronto. Why don't you do a poem on the a poetry about the Cardi, a black man in Toronto? You know, as that as seems to be in the news a lot lately. <laughs> lately. What do you feel about that? I mean, as, as just a, as, a, as, a, as, a, as a person um, on, 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 the, on the other side looking in, and I mean, about black men being targeted and targeted by the police in Toronto. Well, I have a son, mm -hmm. so I fear for him all the time. Mm -hmm. I always try to encourage him to, you know, be respectful mm -hmm. to police officers if, you know, anything were to happen or he happens to be in any sort of trouble. But I, I sleep sound knowing that my son, he's... He's not the type of young man to be on the road. He's usually a housebound individual. Mm -hmm. But as for the young men that are on the road and are getting carded, it's a shame. Especially if they're innocent and not mm -hmm. doing anything. And mm -hmm. You know what I mean? They're only being carded because they're, they're black. Mm -hmm. And discrimination of any kind mm -hmm. is, is deplorable. You know what I mean? And, you know... I should only hope these young black men, you know, keep themselves keep keep them keep themselves as safe as possible. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? If if you're in a situation where there is too much of noise or people or you know, like mm -hmm. ruckus or fighting or whatever, remove yourself from the situation. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You know, I just don't put you, don't just just don't mm -hmm. leave yourself open for them to have to have to say anything about you. Okay. You know. Now, do you do you do you actually do you listen to do you listen to other poets? Who who's your favorite poet? Maya Angelou. Okay. Why is it that you like Maya Angelou? Um, I like the way. First of all, I love her voice. Okay. And um, I love the message. Uh, that she sends, and I like the way that she's able to write poetry freely. Like she'll see someone on the road, mm -hmm. and she can make up a poem about them. Oh. Like the other day, uh, someone said to me, "You have divine attributes. Mm -hmm. Can you do something for us right now? Would you like to hear divine attributes? Yes. Then would you guys like to hear a little bit from our dear? Let's hear it. Yes, I think we'd like to hear that. Oh. Okay." Divine attributes. Look into my eyes and you will see where my spirit lies. Hold me by the hand and in friendship let our spirits devise a better plan. For I can hear the rapture in your soul like music to my ears. I will share with you a smile and help wipe away your tears. You need not explain for that which you are here. I will comfort you in time through your bitter pains and fears. I will share with you the joy and the love of being here. Life is a perfect gift that God has put for us to bear. He extends his love through me like a fire to a flame. Let us move you with his powers to another spiritual plane. Let us touch you in your heart, mind, body, and soul. Our journey's just begun and we can achieve our goals. So I hope by now you've come to realize the spirit of God that moves me and makes my attributes to God. Thank you so much, God, dear. Wow. That was amazing. And that was from the heart. I could feel it. Yes. Oh my God. I could feel it, you guys. I could feel it. Now, where do we find you? Like, are you are you actively working now? Um, you can find me at the Drake Hotel. Okay. They put on a poetry slam every other weekend. Okay. Uh, you can look them up on um, Toronto TPS, mm -hmm. Toronto Poetry Slam. You can find me on YouTube. Okay. I'm under Dion, Bird of Paradise. Okay. Um, I volunteer down by the Redwood. Um, okay. I'm getting ready to put out a, a play, a theatrical production called I Am in the Span Sunrise. Oh, wow. And um, it's to 
encourage and empower women of all ages, you know, to basically stand up for themselves and to say no and to say don't touch me and to have that voice where you can speak out and, and, and just, you know, let your voice be heard. So it's a play based on my book that I have out called I Am in the Span. It's called In the Span of a Sunrise. In the Span, in of, the span of the Sunrise. In the Span of the Sunrise. It's on Lulu.com mm -hmm. by Dion the Bird of Paradise. Mm -hmm. And um, you can also find me on Instagram. I'm uh, uh, Bird of Paradise 66. Mm -hmm. You can find me on Facebook. You keep calling the Bop Dion. That's mm -hmm. on Facebook. That's Bop Dion Samuels. Okay, Bop Dion Samuels, Dion everybody. Samuels. And uh, as for the play, um, I want to have it out by early fall of next year. I'm, I'm still, you know, getting people and whatnot for that. Okay. And, uh, yeah. What do you say to the haters that don't like poetry? What do you say to them? Well, see, poetry engulfs a lot of things. Uh, singing, mm -hmm. you know, uh, songs uh, have words that rhyme and are poetic. Mm -hmm. uh, rapping is also a form of poetry. Singing okay. is a form of poetry. You know, um, we are all poetry in motion, as far as I'm concerned. I've heard that. Maybe yeah, that. we are yeah. all poetry in motion. So to say that you don't like poetry is to say you don't like yourself, or you don't like your environment, you don't like music, you don't like rap, you don't like singing. All of that within itself is poetry. You know what I mean? Dancing is poetry. Any, any way that of which you express yourself in the physical, in the verbal, in in the in the spiritual, for me, all of that mm -hmm. is is poetry. Poetry you make it. So now, when you now, what did you did you learn to speak the word of poetry? Is this is all personal experience, or does this come from you? The, the way you speak, you speak so eloquently Thank and you. so clear that it's is it something that your mother taught you, or your grandmother? Um, it's funny, I, like I said, I grew up in New York, I, I, grew, I was born in Jamaica, but I grew up in New York City, and when I lived in Jamaica, I used to be on a show called Ring Ding. Ring Ding. Ring Ding. I don't know if you ever heard of it. I don't look it up. Though. You got to look it up. So, so there's Miss Lou. Miss Lou on and Ring Ding. I'm Moss Charlie. Now, Miss Lou and Moss, Moss Charlie. Charlie. Miss Lou and Moss Charlie have passed, but Miss mm -hmm. Lou... Is, is one of Jamaica's national heroes. Mm -hmm. She's the one that made it okay and acceptable to speak patois Ooh. and to speak in your, 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 your tongue, your, your dialect. Because okay. a lot of times we were told, no, we can't speak like that because it's some bad her. But she encouraged the speaking of patois and a lot of her poetry were done in patois dialect. So as a child, I used to have to learn those poems for church. So when they had the big events, Easter, mm -hmm. Christmas, all the Sunday school children then would have to learn one of the poems out of Miss Louise Bennett's book. I give you one um, called Love Letter. Okay. Uh, Love Letter is based on a young man or woman mm -hmm. in Jamaica writing a letter to their sweetheart in, in, in what they call fine. Okay. What Jamaicans like to call foreign. Now, foreign is three places Canada, America, and England. <laughs> Fine. All right. So, I usually like to do it like this. My darling love, my little dove, my dumpling, my gazada, my sweet Sue, I go for you like whole fly, go for sugar. As I put my pen to paper and my pen lips start to fly, remembrance, remember the first day you catch me eye. You didn't just come off a tram car, a bus was to your right, a car swift by your left side, you turn up to with fright. Your mouth drop, your jaw open just like when Chaka start feeling. And my heart go booga booga, I'm in mean, no one make my bond. No scan, my little letter love. No laughed after me, uh, me landing not too good, what but me can't spare me and draw. The thing in the corner with the freckles is my heart. And the plate of your man selfish me that will never part. 
You see how we draw the two faces them there, look on one another. Well, one is me and one is you. Take anyone you rather. It's not a cockroach for this. It's a finger with a ring. And it means I want to marry you. This line is piece of string. Take it, put pan your wedding finger, up on your wedding hand. Careful, get the right size and give it to this woman. The woman is mean, oh sweet rice. Keep swell till I see you next. Except my young heart while I close with love and bonds. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so that was beautiful. Yeah, that was by Louise Bennett. Gotta Louise give credit Bennett. Louise Bennett. And um, from there, I just I started that's how I'm able to remember them. Because mm -hmm. um when you were performing or doing the Louise Bennett poem. You don't look too socky reading it off the page. You yeah. had to put a little emphasis and a little drama into it. So as a poet now, mm -hmm. I never you will never see me stand on stage and read off of a tablet mm -hmm. or out of my phone or off a of paper or anything like that. I always try that. Oh, well, wonderful. What would you tell the young people coming up today about wanting the two be part of the life of poetry. What is it? What should they expect? What do like like we know that is is this can this can you make money from this? Is there is it, Yeah, is there actually, actually yeah, you can make money from it. Um uh the top pinnacle I guess of being a poet would be the winner Pulitz uh prize oh, for poetry wow. for uh, writing and um Another thing you can do, uh, there's a lot of shows where you can enter slams, and if you win the show, there's money. There's a lot of writing competitions um, on the internet. All you have to do is look up um, poetry writing contests, mm -hmm. and um, there's many different contests out there. They ask for comical poetry or prose or mm -hmm. whatever, and... Um, yeah, man, you can, you can so, do some stuff. Or write so, a book. But so, compilate your stuff and write a book. So, we can find you at the Drake. You can find me at the Drake. You can find me at the supermarket. Um, you will find me on my own stage with the, the play that I am as fan. Now, can you just remind our audience what you have coming up and what, what the Va is planning now? Tell our audience what you're planning now and how they should get involved if they want to be involved or come see you. Mm -hmm. uh, exactly, like you say, you have a, a, a show that you're writing now. Yeah, I have is a show. Is it a life of poetry or is it just about you? Or um, Actually, like I said, it's a, a play about the empowerment of women. Okay. It's, um, it's based on the I am theory. Who okay. are you? What do you bring to the table? What what speaks loudest from the soul? What 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 is your I am? Is basically what I'm asking. Okay. You know what I mean? I am a, a poet. I'm a hairstylist. I'm you know a mother and a sister. What what do you bring to the table? And like I said, it's to you know for women to rise up and and just have a voice and have a good time singing and. You know, because I wanted to, the play is going to be a call back, mm -hmm. call and response. Okay. So the audience will be involved, you know, I'll give them instructions in order to help them help me okay. save the poem. Oh, know? well, that's, that's a bit. That's great. Audience participation. Audience now, participation. What's the age range of the people that come to see you? That like poetry? What's the age um, range? Usually anywhere from... Like, I mean, from about 13, 14, I've seen, because they have like a young, um, younger poets group that mm -hmm. the youth poetry that get together and you'll find anywhere from, I guess, 16 on up to 20 something, mm -hmm. you know, and then, um, What's the background? Is it, are they just all black people? No, or? no, there, it's a diverse. You'd be surprised from oh. the very old to the very young comes out and enjoys poetry, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, on your final thoughts, what what is it that you think people should know about, understand about poetry and understand about Bob Dion and, the, and what is it that, what's the message that you'd like 
for the world to understand what is it that you, what message that you want to tell the people about poetry and about you as Bob Dr. Well, um, poetry is is a personal and very spiritual and emotional um, sense of expressing oneself. Okay. You know, and for me, maybe the things that I might not be able to say to you, you know, just by talking to you now, mm -hmm. I might be able to go home and better articulate it so that I can get everything out. Because I find a lot of times when we try to conversate with people, they, they talk over you and, and, and you talk over them and no one mm -hmm. ever really Listen. listens. You know, but how much more do you listen when I, I write it out? You know, and I can maybe even give it to you and, and you read it and take it in. You know what I mean? Or you come and you see me perform. And like I said, a lot of times things I, I authoritate to people, it touches them. It, it touches them on a, you know, depends on what they're going through. You know, if they're going through a breakup, it touches them on an emotional level. If they're trying to find some inspiration, it touches them on a spiritual level. If um, they, they need some consciousness, it touches them on a conscious level. Because I speak to all those genres of, of, of topics that, you know, in, is in the media, you know? Okay, I'd like for you, on the final thoughts, on the show, I want to say thank you for being on my show today. Thank you very and much for having me. We have the incredible Bob Dion. Can you do a, a little something for us to take us out? Take us out? Okay. Yeah, take us out. Well, since this is Christmas, it's Christmas, everybody. And everybody wants, you know, they're all wishing on the star and they want, oh, they want some stuff for Christmas. So this one's called Make a Wish. Talk to her. All right. Make a wish. Strive for the best. Live your life to the fullest. Put yourself to the test. For you can be whatever you want to be. For life is yours and you are free. Climb the highest mountain. Never settle for less. Be as strong as you are. Never let yourself rest. Make a wish now. Build your dreams up high. As high as you can. As high as the sky. Make a wish now. For your dreams can come true. For your life is your challenge. And your dreams are your tools. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Bob Dion. Thank you. No that problem. Was that was great. That was Thank great. You. Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank you, everyone, for joining me here on the Stephanie Stevens Show. Uh, be sure to tell all of your friends about the Stephanie Stevens Show and be sure to share our links with everybody. Um, we will have this episode of the Stephanie Stevens Show with the fabulous Bob Dion on Saturday, December 14th. We will have it on. YouTube, so be sure to share the link. Thanks, everybody. Bye. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. And happy holidays. Happy, happy, happy New Year. Year. Happy New Thanks, Year. everybody. Bye.